blessed to be here. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Uh, how do we connect a phone to the to the speakers? Get it to me. I want to bless people here. Glory. General Apostle Java is on the phone. Glory. Apostle. Yes, yes, Prophet. Thank you, Apostle. You are blessed. Amen. You are so blessed. You're so blessed. You're so blessed. And I believe God is the purpose for this conference call. And I believe your gathering is not in. Amen. I believe something spectacular is on, is on its way to you. Amen. So right now, I'm going to offer a prayer in the presence of the Holy Spirit to connect you to the prophetic. Oh, yes. To connect you to your purpose. Yes. The greatest gift anyone can have in this. The devil is a liar. So I shall pray. Yes. Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Jesus. I ask you to assign your angels. Oh, yes, Lord. To the United States of America right now, where Prophet Passion and your children, the congregation is. I pray, Holy Spirit, Thank by the you, covenant, Jesus. you enshrined with me on 9 May 2002. Oh, yes, Lord. That you send your angels for protection, oh, yes, for knowledge, for wisdom, Kalabas. and spiritual growth and maturity. In the name above every name, let no one under the sound of my voice go home empty. I pray for an impartation Kalabas. from Prophet Passion to the congregation right now. Kebo Shata Yabole Kesi Haratos Keprite Kuskapli Kratin Say 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 In the name of Jesus. Let all of them, Father, be under the umbrella and the cloud of your presence. 
Fill every empty space. Drive away darkness. Fill their spirit. Fill their spirit. Fill their spirit. Lakuza. Lakuza. Arabot. Kepratas. Mimi. Aiten. Kak. Shok. Din. Jepento. Nainaisek. Kroten. Alabababababababashati. Kuna madia. Kuna madia. Daimanto ukabati juku bakara tutu. Bibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibibib
Apostle, we can hear you. Blessings. Blessings, blessings, blessings. I love Rakahasa. How are you doing? I love Ratuta. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. We bless the name of the Lord. Lovranti zalorus antre vashe da valekaza. Perun se ziva dashe dikado pronte vido. Kelushi vare epe lacto vani nandi le estikaga. Parion suzu savrakti valia. Peishon to vakti apalakancho. Teu te la vasta. Diklare diva nasta la ashto bika. Perun suzu vute la mach. Peu prochon to prakte bele man siri zinso. Teu fronso. Tokon kantiri an shu vreti baki da. Levo na hastri ki da shu levati om praktei. Vono kusha mandere vida apro kongole vele emo nani naso. Zeno, 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 zeno. Zeno, 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 zeno. Jeloku me rezik va apo. I want you to understand something about the man that God has entrusted you. To be with your, to be your father and your man. Understand something about prophet passion. That he is spirit. He is an enigma. He is an enigma. He is a mystery that is yet to be revealed. And the Lord has been placing this in my spirit. That you need to guard jealously his life. Because there are people who when they are given my God, they don't only care every spiritual gift, but they are actually a gift. So God gave you, God gave you prophet passion, not as somebody who has a spiritual your gift yeah but if him being gift you have to protect him the same way Josiah was protected by a man who had the prophecy about Josiah Josiah being given you understand something that it was at the age of eight years that Josiah became the king of Israel. It was meant possible by somebody who, when hearing the prophecy that was speaking about Josiah, he decided to hide Josiah. Remember also, the Bible talks also about the servant of King Ahab who was able to hide prophets in a cave. The Lord has been blessing this spirit. I was talking to your father and I said to your father, before you stand to minister, I have to talk to your people and tell them that the season has come for elevation and the season has come for promotion and the season has come for promotion. But you need to protect the man of God protect him with your finances protect him with your time protect him investing in ideas protect him with your prayers protect him fasting for him because he is the gift in the season that has been released for your next level he is the gift in a season that has been released for your, for your promotion because this is not just but a gathering, but it's an appointment with destiny. It's a place whereby God is actually unlocking the curtain of time and it's an actually a place whereby God is unlocking the scroll of your destiny and God has entrusted you with the next voice of America. The Lord has been whispering in my ear that the servant of the Lord, prophet passion, your father, he is the next voice of America. He is the next prophet of America. After William, after William Marion Branham, he is the one who is coming to take over America to the next level. And you better connect now. You are actually privileged 
to know him now. Because the season for his manifestation has just begun. And the Lord is telling me that as he is manifesting, you are also manifesting. As he is gaining ground spiritually and physically, you are also gaining ground. As I am talking right now, begin to connect. Begin to connect right now. If you have got some in your wallet, begin to rush anyone who is under the sound of my voice. Right now, begin to rush to the pulpit and connect to the feet of the prophet because it's your season for elevation. Understand this, church. If God gives you a prophet, not only has he given you a prophet, but he has given you a change of season. Because a prophet, he comes to change seasons. So if God wants to change your season, he creates an opportunity for you to be the prophet. And this is the opportunity to meet the prophet of God. With the time we are now tapping into the next month of July, God is saying there is an elevation, speed, and promotion that is coming into the house of God. God is promoting you in every sphere of life. And there is speed that is being released in this season. Where what others struggled to achieve by reason of 10 years. in Jesus' mighty name, says the Spirit of God. It is done for you. It is done for you. Come on right now. The same spirit, the same spirit that operated on Elijah is the same spirit that is resting upon your father. The same spirit that Elijah operated with is the same spirit that is resting upon your father. He is not a mere man. He is not a mere man. You are privileged. You are privileged to be part Jesus. and of the grace. Mm. You are a privilege Karadabase. to be part in Karadabase. Karadabase. of the great Libonsai. Libonsai. and the spirit in this change. Every time God exposes you to, to greatness, you must be able to know how to relate and to respond to greatness. Greatness was their feet, but they did not recognize it. La Little ghost of Rahastele Hikrahasko Reba. Hello, this is Pata Vandiwan. Kazusha la Havesaha. Ko. Mizala Havesaha. Ko Ravenide Station. 
Kora have an hiding station. Stina maid in Taranandos. Pina malato, the Aronis, the Mika Ambre de Gonzale. Lysonai, K. C. to Michael. Innovine arrest in Kina Mosika day. I went in the castona ambre me castigi bonsai. Then I don't shy and loose the Dain Kosa in the Camorena Masika by Bebeuna Bebeuna Marapapa Pautai Sayoka Badosh Elika Bas Bindi Bidi Ba Ashte de Bika Bas Mindo Kobo Yatsia Makaba Manto Kobuyutsu Mayebe Mashiki Bayetsi Bindo Vai Sekia Rahandos Morena Urika Utsinga Ututu Dashki manga mak di aski di ba angla haste. Ningli katungla maste de bi. Abara di avei abush de bi gabaste di bonsa la hande. Bidon sakida. Akaba utsutsu ude ya shaka bahayden ki. Bruba deski na mandele dishta bradiga bansai. Bri banso leiven ki na maisti na ha. Haruna mareta bayesi kahonda. He di bonsa ki danda, hakubari anda radabaka o shiki be. He dance to brigi di akre higra akumbra masika de. O nai mause ki a handa i morena. Waka utete ina mausiki, zimba masiki tata kusheke. Reidon kabroski dabai, reiden koden station ikades. Reading Kumbra Maskidi Banda La Haverini Hasti Brati Castoshen Aluminia Soden Ka Granda Malaysian Kina Marosi Kina Malacto Dinama Ake Banga Mahange Mahanga Mahunga Iki Bange Masika Dosta La Have Morena Hakautsi Mahuteka Morena Hakautika Bia Asia High Bon Von Van Vinavas Venaiden Karaiden Station. Vinto Kaba ah, he he, Sakia Honda. He na Murena, ha ha ha, Seke. Mia Otete, he ha 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 ha, Seke. Mia, 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 ha unga ha uti ya ka une. I can hear you. Sika bahota bahate bahate bahate. Kabo Shakala. Shakia Raya. Mia Tsuma Hashika Baya. Shako Riba Da Sante Lebo Sakasho. Mandi Soto Labaya. Our saying, Prophet, are you hearing me? Yes, Apostle. I was saying, I was saying to the church, they needed to understand something and recognize something on how to behave and how to relate with greatness. Because the Lord told me that your, your, your father, Prophet Hashon, is not an ordinary man. And you must know every time when God exposes you to greatness, he wants you to be great. When God brings you to a place of a great man, he wants you to be great. And it's not a privilege that is given to many. Because many times when God exposes you to greatness, he is creating an opportunity for you also to be great. This is what the disciples of Jesus failed to recognize on the three years that they walked with Jesus. They did not recognize that it was actually, they were actually in the presence of greatness. When they saw Jesus washing their feet, it was something they did not recognize that not only was he washing their feet, but greatness was washing their feet. When he saw them, he saw them sending them to buy lunch. While he remained sitting at the well, they did not know that it was greatness that had sent them to buy lunch. They saw all the miracles that he did. They did not recognize that they were in the presence of greatness. They saw the multiplication of five loaves and two fish, but still they did not recognize that they were in the presence of greatness. But when Jesus calmed the storm, that's when they began to question one another and said, who is this man that even nature can respond to him? 
Now, I want you to understand, church, the word that I told your father, yes. that before you stand to minister, I need you to speak to your people. And he asked me, what do you want to speak? And I said to him, no, I have to speak and address your people, and you will hear it when I'll be addressing your people. Your father is a great man. He is an unusual man. He is, a, he is carrying a calendar type of the ministry. Because after every hundred years, God releases a gift to humankind. So he is carrying a calendar ministry that changes the human course of mankind. So you are privileged to be under this man. He is coming as the last voice of America because America was given Marion Branham in the olden time and his time came and it passed to the extent that some of the prophecies that he prophesied are being fulfilled. So God now is telling me that he is now the prophet passion is now the voice for America. And you are privileged, actually, Mando Sha, Pakolo Zoto, Lavun Teke Mundo Zakuli Baya Jume, Menda Lazuku Dilia Mandala Zandu, Yusevre de Telepan Zuzul Kunjilia Mando Zo. You are privileged to be in his presence. But understand now, Church, you must know how to relate with him. You must know how to relate with him. You must respond to his immediate declaration. You must respond to his immediate instructions. And you must respond to any plea that he shall, he shall make. You must respond because you are not responding to him, but you are responding to the greatness that God you are responding to the greatness that God has entrusted him with. You are responding to the greatness that is in him. And whatever in this season he shall command you to do, you must do it. If you have got 10,000, partner with him. If you have got 5,000, partner with him. If you have got 1,000, partner with him. Because it's a season. It's a season and it's a privilege that has been granted to you and has been deprived of many. It's like Jesus of all the fishermen coming only to Peter and say, give me your boat. It's like Jesus walking in the streets of Jerusalem, but only he says to Zacchaeus, I want to get into your house. It's like Jesus between Bethpeth and Bethany, who is saying, let us go to the house of Mary and Martha, with all the people who were in Bethany and Bethpeth. But he decided to go to the house of Mary and Martha. He decided to talk to Zacchaeus, who was on top of the tree. So you understand something, church, that is actually a privilege that you are in the presence of a great man. And it takes that as an advantage in the spirit, in Jesus' name. That's the way that I get for the church. God bless you all. God bless you, Apostle. With our God hands bless you. Up. Father, we thank you for this moment. Father, we thank you for the portal that has been opened today. Today, it's a special day that we may access the spiritual realm. This is the day you have chosen for a prophetic baptism, a metamorphosis in the realms of the spirit, a divine change. Father, I pray that we be catapulted to another dimension. I pray for everybody hearing this voice that the anointing of Jehovah, the grace of the prophetic, the power of impartation take place this day. Kinga maka bahati di bohon salahate. Dino kumbra masiga de Hayden ko. I pray for prophetic impartation. Transfer of tongues into thy spirit. 
transfer of the prophetic ability into their soul. Transfer of the prophetic assignment into their future. I pray for the prophetic light to shine on their feet. To guide their ways in Dola Hanga. Indulenge Sokunga Mahadiga Hanga Masigade. Honga Ute de Gida Bansoli Hangra Hati Bohon Shalaha. Murena Hahiki Akonga Masigado Honde de Diakai. Himbri di Dida Bakau Gonga Hasika Dea. Handika Handa Mahanda Mahanda. Hedibon Shakaba Hande. Zinga Koteke Dia Hangra Ki de Brahasco. Gangang 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 Gang Gang Gigakahasiko de Hesti de Bahante. Hona Mutsia Kadiga Deshi. Ezi kongra ateleti ya kushika bahanse. Brikudunsha, brikidunsha, ebi gonsa adika te heiden ki. Honsa ante tsentinsa kankinza matika bosh. Morena, edibola maradia kasti de baha. Ha, kedibonse hiya, haiya, haiya. Henga unga utegi da anga hanga. Garunde ki da bahasi gade. Atonga malita, atonga, atonga, atonga. Handeleti gluhuje enga mahase, ala glahaste, ali kongre iga, hala bratuta, hala bratiga, hali braante ki da anka kuzika tai. Broshai ebrika de ekro hoska da brai. Bro pa pa pa, bro pa, bro pa 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 pa, bro pa, bre pa siki, brito ko osha. Gesu na mahanda. Hindu la avena kahande. Pina mutata mutete. Hakuna mutete mutata undala. Heri na handara daba kauhaya. Hei na hora takapaya. Prenga si kutsamba imasigade. Hona inaishe kia honzi mahasha. Hoshingi nga hate. Hakunga una hasi ya hai. Ietsi mengao kapatia kuropa. Emina mahanda makwere guaraga dia kujagua guadi gasti da bangwa makwewe wena hindi na mahai denki da ba hakandunga mauseki ya hanga doku eki ya koshaka mahonga morena sandai 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 bin molate molesi mona malakto molengi ya musenge. Kalamari mwanga osi ya anga, iengola masika ungo. Kalamari muzungu, muzanga maunge gia kotege. Gigo stada banga makahandi kedibonsa la havei. Firingange ndinga ringi angange ngindi ringangunde ndiri na manga unze mbia manga unge nginda mbandande. Sindo mande, sindo mande, sindo mande, mande mia maunde ndia na maka bojai. Bidi bonsa la hade, ho ka si ka ko ka ke ko ka ki ka 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 ke sa. Mi hace, mi hace, mi hamba, ma homba, mi imbi, mi isi, ki angoda. Ha lo renio nasi ya nahande. Le renio so onala mi ya maushe. Mi li mase, mi li manso. Ho le mele, 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 mi mi anga. Ho mi na alumini ya sopa na akte. Mi na malakto, mi na malakto. Mi na, 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 mi na. Mi na malakto, mi na mi lakto. Ginda masiga to shahato. Hatika hota, hotika mohuta. Papaute ki ya kuteta. Ho ka si mahina mauna. Hey, marada bakayeti. Hey, ha 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 ha. Hiri bianda rada baushe. Hey, hey, ha, ho. Ki ya tia kote te rida baushe ki. Talakandai. Telakito, gandi kataya, tsubinase ke diakomra, kato, shakarate ya katatai, shato kitata, tataratatai, himi ya tsombai, bejunga, brukate kata, sakate, shibu ya tsia pai, birakate ya, brikate ya pate ya, brikate ya mate ya, Mansoso, mansusu nyama utetina mungeke. Doku toso nyama utikia akabadi ya komaye. Doku buda akandia kushika. 
dakabururuki biaka teteri na mahumba 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 muyesi ya mahoshe jangli katili gasto da ba a vin vestig dina vaiden kida vesti na ve vinola alenoni enelene ni andili via aste gevi Vari voshi ka fraste viva haste vri hase. Veiden vinos avri da voshtele vika prat. Beresi a prava daski da bai. Ebidon sali a prika dostali. Halinanda la kede hana. Hakle hina mahanga. Hanga 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 hanga. Henginga nga 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 nga. Nge utse nge 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 nge. Hoka ni haketia hondi hamashiki. Ia naso tebia katse Ana yesia Mayotia mayeke Aha, 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 aha Ona yeti ya baoshe Hande iako Hora ye Saya na mayope Saya na maope Saya Mia tseterida baka ushe Ai, 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 baeso, bayanga, biongo munga yeke ya siki ya tungla, chuchu cha chichi, chilinga chuche kichi chinga titi, chulinjaya, njaya, njele dia kuchichi katsunge, Ngia kachele, chule nele che 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 che, chu 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 chu. Changi ya nechi pia tu pepe na ngateta, pipi 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 pipi, paleti ya koleke, hey ha, tibi ya pepe ke che che ke dia kolele, li 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 la lele, kadu biya kode baby ya mangenge. Mizungandi ya tete kidibaya Horibriki ya hate He, he, he Shaba, he Tibi ya tete kidaba bobobo Shibibibibibibib Bito pa tete kidaba kaka tete kede Beke diya katsata Tiko kacheche kita kachea Machawa macheke Tukweke tukwa kaka tiki kiki ya kukaka Tukwa kelege diya kusi kita hana Handeli tidiri na baka usoma yeti ya mahoba ha. He tidiri titi kabarada bako chiki kakukitwaka tweke lika kakaskwaka. Kwe tue katukui mine aka uzende atu mine ama uzinga tekota epika koko koko koko. Shipo koko, shipo koko koko, kipi pipi, santo prika toshta la hande hara na mahana he. Mia hoki bikana Ekli nonsta la kina rakuda Hambri ki di bonsa la hambri kida Hondara di stei Handara di anderi da bakao tzingla hanga Nglakli gongra haski da braha toko ushak la hapri ki tia kasanga Masanga maanga ma wongenge utete Ho prakadika paleiva Prava stoshen ki na mastika te Station stosh Ak, ik toshten kita prostek, stik stoshen ik a oba a, stoshen bait a bidon sa hei, ka higa bash tu gibi daiden ki, haki va sanda mahanga, mito la raniri na mao sheki, flyero nasti na manda, mere venya me mia na vasika farahana, vri stofra hate ke sai, deep in a vine, in the caustic din a caustin a, of the bind kestik in the raiding combra has in a mine in set or clay sina apreke diga ha hey na ha hey subay na mareti ya koden ki fly 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 in the vine garden ogina aiden eden stalk prat briga toshten mina mamre diga bai pehosha ha hey den ko mina asonga makazoden kida bai 
Daniela Alosi Eglida Hanstenevi. Jeremy A. Asia Ogai. E dendo ai. E na akreni grahas kumbre maha. Hingros kingra hadenki. E hina angri is kambra maha giza. Zagre is abrigados ten gi. Ha he ko prategen gidabas. Bina ha. E hino he. Vin ak. Be aiden steak or maiden key. Wona murana akrina ak. O gain station. E gain pork pras. Pray din kadushai. E gain kopa tekopa. Toka 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 to prokodika apro prika teke hina osiba oben gidan stoshen ak mahanga mahonga mahasika deya migros ak eden kina moden ki miden koden station ak di eden kina mai hungra ha brehigra angle sin kina mahobra hazin vi havens hak Haven Kaiden Station Haik. Hayden Kohai Vina Ak Midden Station Egden Akongra Has Kaiden Bry. Migan Station Ake Mi Vai Hayden. Migan Station Tigai Egen Tigada. Mi Gonstein. Mi Rodin Karaden Sticker Bray. Egan Coden Hak. Mige de Hayden Station. Geograph Ekle Hivra Aiden Kinaha. He gone station. Miga, Miga, Miga. Gaiden Kinoma. Mirondestein Nira Hayden Kidaba. Moga Iribaden Bubaben Mia Gabaha Gabaha. Bigaden Daraiden Station. Miko Bayase. Migaina Hande Hikaba. Hana Milero Shak Behaden Baden Kinama Wa Ugabahas Ido Gangi Nahanga Mugange Migato Shikate in the Mahakata Telepico Dastinama Vino Costic Vino Costic Vino Costic Kino Costic Kino Costic Dinaha Tina Pahate Pehesika Baha Morena, he 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 he, he he he, sanga. Morena hato hota kabidas ti da bake bidonsa de na handa handa mahanga bihayden kina ma. Shatu, 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 shahatu. Shahatu Mia say Minaman say Minaman say Minaman say Kiki 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 Bonstai Kiki 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 Bundestein Kiki 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 Green eye veins, toshen gi dang engi sto braka digo bonsha la hangre hista para kapu hushki di brivonsa la havri di onse hari gasta hata handu shekia hata 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 hey sakia ratatai hey masia mahose yunani ashe. Waye, waye, waye. Yunaye, saye, kale, shalai. Yali, lali, eleli, namanga, miya, masya, nahai. Ili, etu, miliende, mina, mause, ki, alahai. Oh, ramandi, ete. Yere, de, bebi, anashi, aka, unga. Hey, can I mouse a key or a turn die? May, 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 who? Who reate, who reate, who reata, who reata, 
Yakobo ya kebeka baba otsok di bonda kastene mangar haski de liva shek biha 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 namalakto biha namalakto biha namalakto hoshakabaya Jesus oh Jesus Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Holy Spirit, the Holy One, Father, 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 the Father of all lights, who shine in your heart, who shine in your spirit, who shine in your soul, yes, in your physical life. Day by day, the light will grow. Day by day, the light will shine. Greater shall be the light in you. Greater shall be the light in you. For the time cometh where thy sons shall be manifested. Manifested in glory. Manifested in power. In excellence. And don't la mastik a mahang la mastik ibun shalaha. For my heart have I placed in you. I have put the heart of gold in you. The heart of prosperity. Whatever you shall touch, you will prosper. Wherever you shall go, you will be a success. Alexandra Kisten Idra Hatole Kistra Hata. Alune Renista Bratekida. Lucena Malesi Abrika Doshkalahazi. Lurenia Ale Renionso. Lurenia Ale Mina Makle Higra. La Sepentenias Akibunga Kangra Kagagagagagagagaga Lirinus Day. Abrana Hans Day. Mi Bigidigiski La Hungry Gidi Bonsai. Di Bimba Mahamba 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 Mahamba. The time is come. The time is now. I transfer thy old mentors into the new wine. Amen. Behold my move will wipe America. My move will wipe the world. The world will be taken by storm. The world will be surprised. Thy excellence shall be thy ministry. Thy excellence shall minister to others. Behold, thy church will be multiplied. Bread and fish will be multiplied. You will lack in no areas of your lives. I fix your marriage. I fix your church. I fix your heart. I take you back to the first love. That which I started with you. I put you back to thy old days of prayer. That which corrupted thee, I will remove in the next season. I will plant you like a tree planted by the riverside. Behold, in all seasons you shall bear forth fruits. You will not run dry. Thank you, Jesus. I, your servant, prophet, passion, I prayed. Let the church say amen. amen. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. La sheka basanda rada bakau sheka basate gida bahanderi da baha. Lironso obri dance leki broha. You may take your seats in the presence of God. Shakala hati. Liko baba haseki yarahandi. Mashoko baha. Miyasoka bahati. Thank you, Jesus. La proshka bahati. God is a good God. He's a wonderful God. How many are blessed? How many are here? 
this day is my very special day as an extension of yesterday I saw God yesterday I saw God yesterday I I witnessed the real power of God yesterday I, I, I know since I was born yesterday is the best day of my life it was uh, it was wonderful. It was wonderful. Uh, Apostle Java prayed for us, and the atmosphere changed in this room. I, I don't know if you felt it. If you didn't feel it, you are, you are not a human being. I believe the benches felt it. I believe the carpet felt it. Uh, Apostle Rambiwa, with the same spirit, continued with the prayer. The atmosphere changed. Some of you, God was allowing you to see what was happening. Some of you, you were not even seeing what was happening. But uh, there are angels that walked in this room when we were praying. Yes. There is an angel called Ugao. There's an angel called Jakiel. And there are other four angels that I didn't get their names that also walked in with these angels. I saw four angels on the corners, and I saw two angels standing in front of the pulpit. The angels that were here, they were spreading their wings, and they were blowing wind from their wings. They were blowing wind. They, there, is a, there is a scripture that talks about female angels in the book of uh, Zechariah or Zephaniah, chapter 5, verse 9, or chapter 9, verse 5. It speaks of angels with wind in their wings. And I saw two angels here that were spreading wind from their wings. But if you go now to the book of uh, Ezekiel 37, it says, when he spoke to the dry bones, flesh, sinew came upon the dry bones. And then God says, now speak to the four corners of the world to the four wind to bring life in these bodies. Meaning wind carries a certain life. I, I wish you were there. Yeah. That, that is why many people don't understand. I was taken in the spirit years ago and I stood at the scene. Remember in the spirit there is no past, present and future. Uh, I don't know if you understand that. In the spiritual realm right now is now. Yesterday is now. Tomorrow is now. I don't know if you understand that. So, so, so if you say I have faith, Hebrews 11 says now faith. Faith is yesterday. Faith is today. Faith is tomorrow. So if you say I have faith for a million dollars, you should have it now. If you have it tomorrow, it's not faith, it's hope. If you are going to have a million tomorrow, you don't have faith, you have hope. Because the Bible never said tomorrow faith. The Bible never said yesterday faith. The Bible says now faith. Are, are, are we together? Are, are we together? So, they gave both shalahandi both salaha. So what I'm about to share with you, I, I, I rarely share these experiences with people. But today is a special day for everybody here. I was taken years ago in the realms of the spirit and I stood on the scene where Jesus was walking on top of water. Do you know we can read? Do you know where it is? In the book of Matthew. From today, your tongues will never be the same. You, you witness a change on your tongue when you begin to pray. Don't let your mind block you for the next move of God. Are you there? Where is it? Matthew 
14. What does it say? From 22, what does it say? And straight away Jesus constrained his disciple to get into a ship and to go before him onto the other side while he sent the multitudes away. And when he had sent them the multitudes away, he went up into, the mo into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening has come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them, walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a spirit, and they cried out for fear. But straight away Jesus spoke unto them, saying, Be of good cheer, it is I, be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it is thou, bid me come unto thee on the water. And he said, Come. And when Peter was come down out of the ship, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. Peter walked on water and? And went to Jesus. And? And Peter was come down out of the ship. He, went, he, he walked on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind. When he saw the wind. Boisterous. <laughs> How can you see the wind? When he saw the wind, uh, we are still reading. When he saw the wind, how? When you're reading the Bible, don't be too fast forward. Pause and start meditating. How can I see the wind? If anyone here saw, saw, saw the wind before, you cannot see the wind. But Peter saw he is the only person recorded in the Bible that he saw the wind. Yes? But when he saw the wind boisterous, he was afraid. And beginning to sink, he cried saying, Lord, save me. Akumbra must be hidden key. I was taken in the realms of the spirit and I began to see what took place. There is the wind and there is the wind. There is the wind. You cannot see it, you can hear it. You can see the leaves, you can see its effect, but you cannot see it. But there is a wind that carries life in it. Ezekiel was taught to speak to the wind to bring what? Life. So when Peter was walking on top of the water, he saw wind and he received another life than the human life. And that life was beneath the waters. Because in the water, there is a world. That is exactly as the life we have on earth. That's why the Bible says, on which every knee in heaven, every tongue in heaven, on earth, in the sea, shall bow and confess there is life in the sea. So the wind that came to Jesus was bringing him life to get into the life of the sea. Let me break it down. Jonah was asleep. The storm came. What is a storm? Wind. And it took him into the water. For us to understand, we think and believe as we know the Bible says he was in the belly of the fish. Am I right? Yes. But he was not in the belly of the fish. 
Remember Jesus said, as Jonah was in the belly, I shall be in the grave. But Jesus was not in the grave. Jesus was in hell. Let me break it down. Jonah chapter 2. You are going to get access into the spiritual realm. You are going to have divine access into the different types of the world. Where is this verse now? There's a verse that says, I was in the belly of hell. Verse. But I will send fire upon the Moab, the, 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 the sound of the trumpet. Oh, I'm in the book of Amos. <laughs> <laughs> I thought I'm growing old. I'm still young. Jonah chapter 2. As we are thinking that he was in the fish, the Bible says in verse 2 of chapter 2, and said, I cried by reason of mine affliction unto the Lord, and he had me out of the belly of hell, cried I. Jonah was in hell. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. But uh, how is Jonah getting life to live in hell? Because the storm came. There is a life that is in the wind. There is impartation that comes through the wind. When we talk of airborne diseases, what does it mean? How do you get an airborne disease? Through, you transfer through what? I thought someone who catch what I'm talking about. There is a prophetic impartation that is called the airborne impartation. That breathing the same air with the prophet, something is being transferred to you. That realm, you can find it in the book of Acts chapter 2. God is going to take somebody somewhere today. Yeah. Acts chapter number 2. Are you there? Yes. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all gathered in one place with one accord. And suddenly, they heard a sound. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come, they were all with one accord. In one place, and suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty. God was in heaven, but he transferred something. And clothing tongues as of fire set upon them. Are, are we here? There is a transfer that takes place through the air. I can be on the phone or you can be watching on Periscope and a transfer can come through the air. There is something in the air. I, I wish I was here. Amen. The Bible says we don't fight against flesh and blood, but against principalities, rulers of darkness, wicked spirits that are in the heavenly places that are in the air. So when the Israelites were fighting, Moses did not fight. Moses went up the mountain and when he would lift up his hands in the air. I wish I was here. They could be victorious because he was controlling things in the realms of the air. I transfer power in your spirit. I transfer impartation in your spirit. 
Whatever you came for, whatever you desire, receive in the name of Jesus. I'm not 100% fit here. I didn't sleep since yesterday. We, 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 it was crazy. We, we left here Friday night. We finished late, right? Thursday night. We finished what time? At midnight. Then we drove home. And Prophet Love started cooking. And the food was done around what time? Around 2 o'clock. The men of God finished cooking. Then we ate food. And our flight was at 6. Meaning we need to start driving at 4. Then we flew to L.A. And I was just chatting in my WhatsApp groups and helping my sons and daughters. And then we landed. Then we went and we had a haircut and makeups and stuff like that. Then we took a helicopter to Pastor Benny Hinn place. It was another level. I'm going to share the experience. I'll share the experience. Then we took a helicopter back to Bishop Noah Jones place. Then we had a powerful moment. I felt strong love. It was more than, I don't know. And then straight, we were cutting the cars and going against the laws to get to the airport. And then we got there by grace. By grace, we got there. And then we got in the plane and we flew. We landed around seven something. And we drove to the house for about an hour. I took a shower and I'm here. So I'm drinking this too much rain booze because I need to stand here and be fit for you. Uh, but the spirit in me who is the one imparting is not tired. It's just the vessel that's sleepy and tired. So don't, don't mind my body or my voice, but receive the anointing. Receive the power. Jesus says, my sheep hears my voice, meaning there is a connection that comes through the voice, but there can never be somebody hearing the voice without the air. My voice has to be transferred through the air. Amen. That's why Jesus preached to the 5,000 people without instruments. How are you going to hear me when I don't have instruments? He knew that without Peter's boat, it's impossible. So he borrowed the boat and stood on the boat knowing the wind is coming from the sea. And the wind is going to carry my voice to people that are hearing me. I wish I was here. I wish I was here. There is something that lives in the air. When you die, you don't room. Let, let, let me jump there. God is good. Where was I? So Peter was taken to the other life. But Jesus knew that I have not yet given Peter the keys of where he is going. So he took him by the hand. And four chapters after, Jesus then says to Peter, I give you the keys. Whatsoever you shall bind in heaven, please hear what I'm about to say, shall be bound in heaven. Whatever you shall bind on earth. Listen, for the first time from Genesis, the Bible says heaven, earth, heaven. Earth. For the first time, Jesus says earth, heaven. Whatsoever you shall bind on earth, meaning heaven was controlling earth realm. But from today, because keys are no longer in heaven, we are giving Peter keys on earth. Whatsoever you shall bind on earth will be bound in heaven. Whatsoever you shall loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. But can I tell you the mystery now? These keys, they don't control heaven from heaven. They don't control heaven from earth. They control heaven from hell. When the anointing comes strongly upon you, it doesn't take you to heaven. It takes you to hell. 
That's why he says, these keys I have given you, you shall bind and loose. And the gates of hell, the gates of hell shall not prevail over thee. Uh, let me rewind it. You are not here. When I give you the keys, come. When you bind things in Maryland, they shall be bound in L.A. When you loose in Maryland, they shall be loosed in L.A. But the gates of Zimbabwe shall not prevail. What does it mean? Keys are for a gate. But Jesus, after all that he is saying, he is now referring to him that the gates of hell, meaning what you control from hell, will be seen manifesting in heaven or earth. Let me tell you something. Thank you. I don't fill a bucket with water from the bucket. I fill the bucket of water from the tap water. So what I am controlling is not the bucket. What I'm controlling is the tap. But what will be filled is the bucket. So what is being filled is heaven. With the people coming from earth. But for those people to fill heaven, you should control them from hell. So Jesus said, Peter, let me be an example to you. I want people to go to heaven, but I don't look for them on earth. I don't look for them in heaven. I may die on earth, but I have to go to hell and unlock hell so that people can have access to heaven. The prophetic anointing first exposes you to demons. When I declare 50,000 US dollars to him, that money is bound in hell. There is a demon that is holding that money. So I am not talking to him. When I say I release, I'm not the one with money. He is not the one with money. But I am commanding the demon that is holding 50,000 to release it to him. So the prophetic anointing takes you to jail. Ala bratuta. I wish people were here. Take your seats. So Peter wanted to go to hell before his time. Many of the prayers you were praying, you were praying them before time and you were not understanding what you were doing. Because the greatest gift on earth that have never been achieved by anybody is the gift of understanding. Solomon, in all his wisdom, he says, there are four things I do not understand on earth. The snake on a rock. Solomon died without understanding. Let me skip that. It's another topic. So Peter stood before Jesus and Jesus made him to have another life. And Peter experienced another level. He saw the wind. When God opens your eyes today, you will not be introduced to angels. You will be introduced to the demon that is blocking you to see angels. You have to be crucified in order for you to resurrect. I prayed for prophetess Tammy down here, if you're here. And I was canceling the spirit of accident. I don't know if you're here. And I prophesied crucifixion for the next three days. Then the following day she was in an accident. God is now exposing the demon 
in order for her to see the angelic. God is now exposing hell for her to experience heaven. Let me go deeper. Who resurrected Jesus from the dead? The Bible says if you believe in your heart that God raised Jesus from you shall and confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord, you shall be saved. So we want to see which God, who in the part of God resurrected Jesus. It is the spirit, right? Because the Bible says, if the spirit that quickeneth, the spirit that raised Jesus from the dead, lives in you, ye shall quicken your mortal bodies. Uh, are we together now? I'm now in the next dimension of mysteries now. Remember Prophet uh, Apostle Rombio said, passion is an enigma, a mystery yet to be revealed. Let me review the mystery. What is the difference between the Holy Spirit and the Spirit of God? I was expecting people to know you. I will teach better in the class, all right? In the WhatsApp group. But, but hear this. The Bible says that you may be holy without blame. Right? Meaning you can be holy with a blame. Holiness is not measured by sin. You can commit a sin while least you are holy. Because holiness is measured by fulfilling your assignment. So if you are walking in your assignment, you are standing in holiness before God. Uh, am I clear with you? So what qualifies me to be holy is me being in my assignment. So I can be in my assignment and have a lot of mistakes. So the Bible says that you may be holy without a blame. My assignment number one deals with the time. If I start operating in my assignment before my time, I am not yet holy. If I operate in my assignment after my time, I'm not yet holy. What makes me holy is to operate in my assignment in the right place at the right time. Am I clear with everybody? So the time of the Holy Spirit was not yet in the Old Testament. So because it's not yet his time, we could not call him holy. We called him the spirit of God. Because he's operating before his time. He is the spirit of God, but he is not yet qualified in holiness. Because what's making him holy is his assignment in his time. So there are people that actually were filled with the Holy Spirit in the, in the Old Testament. How were they filled with the Holy Spirit when the Holy Spirit can only fill you when you have received Jesus? David received Jesus. Therefore, he was filled with the Spirit of God. That's why when she was writing Psalms 22, he says, Eloi, Eloi, la sapakatani. And he described everything that happened on the cross. So he saw the death and the resurrection of Christ. And he received Jesus. And because he received Jesus, he also received the Spirit of God. 
When he prayed in Psalms 50 and 51, he says, Lord, do not take your spirit. I wish you were here. Don't take him away from me. So others receive the spirit upon, but he had the spirit in him. Why? Because he went ahead of time. Saw Jesus and received Jesus and received the Holy Spirit. So I want to talk about the Holy Spirit because the big bone of the prophetic is the Holy Spirit. Hakabahate. We have Jesus who is the place of God. If you abide in me, that's Jesus. Me and my father, we are one for he is in me. Jesus is the place of God. Am I right? And the Holy Spirit is the personality of God. That's where I want you to touch very well. He is the personality of God. Now, you can't be a person without a soul. So it is the Holy Spirit who carries the soul of God. That's why the Bible says, touch Jesus, you'll be forgiven. Blasphemy against the Father, you'll be forgiven. But he who grieves the spirit shall not be grieved. Why? You can't be grieved without a soul. Because your soul is emotional. In your soul is the will. In your soul is, uh, is the mind. Right? So the Bible says in Genesis chapter 6, my spirit shall not strive with man. For he also is flesh. He also is flesh. Are we together? Yes. Striving with man is because he has a soul. Grieved by man because he has a soul. You can't be forgiven because if you make him cry, crying is in the soul. If you don't have a soul, you can't cry. Your emotion is in the soul. So who cries in the Trinity is the, is the Holy Spirit. Am I, am I with you here? So the will is in the Spirit of God. It's in the Holy Spirit. So when you are saying, Father, let thy will be done in my life as it is in heaven, you are saying, transfer the will that is in the Holy Spirit into my life. You can never walk in your will without the Holy Spirit. Can I go deeper now? Once you have the Holy Spirit, you have your will in you. How will I know that I have the will of God when there is no prophet to prophesy me? Let me go deep. This man here can never desire to fly. He can never practice to fly. It is not in him to fly, so he can never desire it. This man can never desire to walk through the wall. Because it's not in him to walk through the wall. But that which is in you is what you desire. For deep call it to the deep. How I know I am a prophet before anybody prophesies is because something in me is a craving and desiring for the prophetic. So don't you know that your body is the temple of God and the Holy Spirit abides in you? Why not Jesus? Why am I receiving Jesus in my heart, which is the Spirit? But the Holy Spirit is coming to my soul. Why? Because deep call it to the deep. He who is the soul, part of God, abides in my soul. He who is the Spirit among the part of God comes to my spirit. Are we, are we, are we here? So when he is in you, the way you think changes. The way you desire changes. The way you will changes. The way you wish things changes. 
when you look at things you used to look something and you will start saying don't do this why he begins to change and transform you why because once he is in you you are set for the prophetic i'm coming to baptize you later today prophetic baptism is going to take you to another level it's going to take you to higher realms in the realms of the spirit Step number one, you must understand this. There is a wind that is bringing a new life. And that life will not take you to heaven. It will take you to hell. You will face hell when you leave. I will not lie to you. You will face hell. Because your money is in hell. Your marriage is in hell. If hell is the opposite of heaven and we believe there is no marriage in heaven, where is marriage? So what you are looking up to get from there is not there, is actually there. Jesus did not die for anyone there. He died for people that are there. When he died, he never went up there. He went down there. Because the breakthrough is there. That's why David, when she was filled with the Spirit of God, he says, where can I go and you are not there? Even if I go to hell, you are there. What is the Holy Spirit you looking for in hell? Your breakthrough is in hell. Your power is in hell. Your victory is in hell. When Jesus came out from hell, he said, Oh, power. Where did he got the power? In hell. Light is found in darkness. Prosperity is found in poverty. Marriage is found in anti-marriage. So where do you get your breakthrough? The Holy Spirit, when he came down on Jesus, he never led him to the Father. But the Spirit of God led Jesus to the wilderness and introduced Jesus to the devil. When you live here, you are going to meet the devil face to face. That's why when Jesus says, Peter, come, Jesus was coming and he started going on another direction. Going where? Hell. Take your seat. Yakushta brai. Branka digansa lahavinaha. Who created hell? Who created the devil? Who made the devil to rebel? Because the angels, they don't have a soul. So if they don't have a soul, they don't have a will. If they don't have a will, they cannot choose. So if they chose to rebel, who chose for them? The Holy Spirit, yes, the soul, yes, the will, yes, the choice. So it is the Holy Spirit who chose for them to rebel so that they can create another place. So that when that place is, God can simply turn and say, let there be the earth. For people to come away in a balanced world, hell and heaven. Why is God planting the tree of life and the tree of knowing good and evil in the garden? And Adam was a fool. For years and years, he could not eat the fruit. And God says, let me create a helper. What did Eve do as a helper? Search the whole Bible. What did she do that you say she helped Adam? She gave him the fruit. 
And when God came down, he says around verse number 20, now many have become like one of us. The likeness of God, which is talking in Genesis chapter 1, never came when God created the man. Let us create men in. That's present tense. In is now. Our image. So the image came now. After. Which is the future tense. It's not now. After is future tense. So the likeness of God did not come immediately. But when they ate the fruit, the Bible says, now many have become like one of us. Ah, you are not here. Let me, let, let me go deeper. When women are giving birth, they lay down with their back. Right? Where are they looking? Heaven. But the real giving birth, you were supposed to be facing hell. Because when Eve came out, she came out from the rib of Adam. Rib is not on the side. Rib is caving from the side, but it starts from the spinal cord. So Adam was laying down flat with his face down. So the rib can be removed. You didn't get it? Yes. The rib is on the side caving, but it's starting from the spinal cord. So we don't say beside every man because the rib is on the side. No. We say behind every man, there is a woman. Because the rib is coming from the spinal cord. Not from the side. It is on the side, but it's coming from the spinal cord. So Adam face was looking in hell while his Eve was being taken from Adam. Because Eve was not in heaven. I wish I was here. Your breakthrough is never in heaven. No. Your breakthrough is down there. Every time when God says, I'm about to bless you, you face hell. You're about to be married. You face hell. Why? Because that breakthrough is not there. It's down. Paul says to suffer is to gain. My profit is in my suffering. And there is no suffering in heaven. So is there gain in heaven? No. To suffer is to gain. Where is suffering? It's in hell. So second dimension, prophetic baptism would take you to hell. That's where you know who is Leviathan. Who is Beelzebub. Who is Gilead. Who is, uh, 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 I forgot their names. Uh, uh, Abaddon. Who is Jezebel? Who is Antichrist? Who is Baal? All those demons, they are holding your breakthrough. Jonah was where? But physically, where was he? In the belly of what? But when he came out from the belly of the fish, he said, what? I was in where? But when Jesus spoke to Peter, he says, go and fish. Inside the fish, you are going to find what? So if he says, I was in the fish, and yet I was in hell. And Jesus says, go and catch fish. And in that fish is money. Where is your money? Where is your money? The moment you suffer hell is the moment you know I am in my place for my break. Ha kabaya tabaye. Yonde ina katsu benahate. 
Daloshi Parakiva, Sante Kidabaya. Though we are hardly praised from all sides, we are not praised in heaven. <laughs> Is there anything that shall separate me from the love of God? Shall there be poverty, affliction? These things are not in heaven. That's why the fruit of the Spirit is long suffering. Mindi gadi bonsa lahande legisa haze. Hazuza haze hizili hense ki gahato huja laha. Third dimension. What is third dimension now? Angelic realm. Third dimension, you are going to move in the angelic. You walk with angels. You will command angels. Now, stand there. This is Donald Trump, as you can see. One. And this is the soldier, as you can see. This is the military guy with a gun. Do you know if you run to the White House and you get through the gate, I want to see Trump. This man can beat you up. Do, do you know that? Or he may shoot you. You know that? This man is supposed to protect America, right? And who is America? You. You. But why is he killing you when he's supposed to protect you, America? It's because you are going through the wrong route. Trump. Come, Trump. If I am driving with Trump into the White House now, as I'm walking with Trump and I say to this guy, kneel down. This guy is going to kneel down. Why is he kneeling down? I'm with Trump. The military guy does not follow his orders. He follows orders from above. Your angel does not follow your own order. Until the Holy Spirit who carries all the will and all the choices of angels and human beings is in you. Once you get to the second dimension, that's when you can have access to angels. In fact, when you go to heaven, you have access to saints. You will be saying high five to, a to Abraham. High five. To Daniel, high five. To me, Pastor Java, high five. To Jeremiah, Ezekiel. But those in hell, they have access to it. So when the rich man and the poor man died, the poor man never had access to angels. The poor man had access to Abraham. But the rich man was talking to the angel to go and get and tell what his name, the poor man, Lazarus, to bring him water. You are not getting it. The one in here was having access to communicate with angels. But the one in heaven was having communication with Abraham. <sighs> Let me break it down. Jesus says, as Jonah was in the belly of the fish, which is what? In hell. I, the son of man, shall be in the grave. Which is what? In hell. When Mary and Martha were going to that grave, who did they meet? Angels. You operate with your angel from hell side. That's why they come to protect you. They cannot protect you in heaven. Your angel cannot protect you in heaven. Ah. 
my angel, he has a sword of fire and a shield. Right? That's what you see in the spirit. You think he's it's holding a sword in heaven. To fight who in heaven? <laughs> I, I wish you understand what I'm talking about. Angelic ministry is connected from hell. Not from heaven. That is why we say the anointing is a prize. Once you're anointed, you suffer. Ah, you're not here. There's the greatest man of God in Zimbabwe. They know him. Called uh, Ezekiel Guti. Great man of God. Over thousands of churches worldwide. No one has many branches like him on earth right now. I don't know how old he is right now. 90 something. And he's still walking. He's still preaching. Close to 100 years. He's still walking. He's still preaching. Very deep. I forgot what I wanted to say. What did I say before that? Hey, anointing comes at the price. Thank you. He said, over 65 years, I've established branches all over the world. He has been everywhere. He did everything. But he married his first wife. She was thorn in the flesh. Do you know a demon? A demon would be better. I'm telling you with free gospel. A demon would be better to stay with than that woman. While this is preaching, one day she came on the stage and took the mic. He's lying. No, 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 no. He starts saying some stuff. And the man is meek. He's quiet. Anyone who knows him will testify what I'm talking about. Broken. He would not say any word. Until God himself told him to divorce her. That was thorn in the flesh. Then married a powerful woman of God that he is with up to now. Powerful. They gave birth to a boy. Crippled. They suffered. It was more than hell. He could not walk. He could not talk. He couldn't. I, I, I don't know how to describe. His son is though on YouTube. He would preach. But he would say, hmm. And the interpreter, that he had the ability to only understand what he's saying, would interpret his sermon. And that boy would heal people from witches. Go on YouTube and say, what was his name? Just say Ezekiel Guti Jr. Maybe it will come out. You go and you see him. He's on witches. He would only stand when he's preaching. That was the pain in his flesh. There's a great man of God called Manjoro. In fact, his daughter is coming to America. I'm planning to host her here in July. Very powerful. That man, I know him personally of doing great wonders. One day he said, let there be power. As in to release power. When people were falling down, even the bulbs began to burst. Physically, not in the spiritual realm. He commanded crocodiles. To come out from the river. And he baptized people. After baptizing, he apologized to the crocodiles and told them to go back. And they went back into the river. You can read it from his books. Everyone from Zimbabwe knows what I'm talking about. Ask them here. Very powerful. His first child died. Second child died. Third down To the sixth child. Dead. Dead. Dead, 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 dead. Paying the price. Paying the price. The firstborn now who is doing wonderful ministry in the UK, he died and the wife took him to Ezekiel Guti, the first one I told you about. 
went straight to the office. They were trying to block her. She cried. She went through and they threw the baby into his hands. Ezekiel Gutu was holding the child and started crying, looking at her. And the, cry, the child started crying. That's how he came back to life. Right now he's preaching in uh, UK as a powerful ministry. And the second one, which is the daughter, they struggled to have him. They had miscarriage and miscarriage and miscarriage until the angel of the Lord says, I'm giving you a daughter. Then she was given birth. There is always prize. It's either you suffer now or you suffer later. You can never run away from the paying the price of the anointing. I suffered for the gospel myself. I came a long, long, long way. If I tell you my story, you will cry. But I was paying the price. I really don't know when last I went through hell. My life and my ministry have been going up like this. But years ago, it used to be block, 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 block. What God is saying, what I'm experiencing was not the same. I knew the demon Leviathan by fighting it. It was a hard. You can never get somewhere without paying the price. You have to understand what we are doing here is not a joke. What you are receiving is not for you to, to be shining in the world. You shine there. When you come back to yourself, you will know this is not a joke. It's not easy. You may be fired from your workplace when you live here. Apostle Java was put in prison for the gospel. This man was just talking here on the phone. They took him from the White House, which is our national hour. Our first house in Zimbabwe. When he went to prophesy the president, put him in prison for prophesying to the president. A judgmental prophecy. Tried to kill him. Put poison. His skin went, you will see him when he come. It was not easy. He came back with things. We could not see the things. But those things will be eating you. <laughs> so you'll be scratching, but it will not change anything. We went through a lot, but in short, you can never get an anointing and run away from paying the price. <laughs> Whoever you see operating, pay the price. If you hear Pastor Benny's testimony of how he paid the price, you will not want to be a preacher. You will not want. We did a piece yesterday for an hour. I'll be broadcasting it soon. I'm compiling videos. From August to December, it's going to be fire for fire for fire. Dangerous. And uh, we set the dates, which is uh, the third week of October, with Pastor Benny Hinn. We'll be flying to Zimbabwe. So all my sons and daughters, please, one way to Zimbabwe. <laughs> October, October, with Pastor Benny Hinn. Are we together? But he had to go through hell. He said, when we were teaching yesterday, he said, uh, one of his church members went to the FBI and says, he is selling drugs. Framed him and framed him and lied. Until the Lord says, curse him. And he says, God, I can't. This God says, curse him. You spoke word. Within three days, he died. Here in America. Here in America. Another guy, he was with Paul Crouch. If you knew the guy called Paul Crouch. And the guy, there were two guys fighting them and fighting. I was on the stage and the Lord says, curse them. And he started speaking in tongues, then he released the curse. The ground was shaking physically. He even shared this testimony last time if you saw the video. And Paul Crouch ran to him and he says, I have never felt this anointing. By the time they finished the meeting they had, one of the guys dropped and died. My God. 
Within four days, another one died. That power is not found in heaven. There are people that went through tough times for the gospel. They endured and suffered. That when they look at you and say you are cursed, your life will never go anywhere. But if they say you are blessed, they carry certain power in their spirit. Your life will never be the same again. There is always payment or price. You can never jump it. There are things we can talk and say, uh, you don't have to go through if your father went through it. Huh. Huh. Unless we are talking of missing in prophecy. Because your father can just teach you. Your father cannot impart you to jump from suffering. There is no way you can jump suffering. The angelic realm is what you're going to operate with. Let, 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 me, let me go deep a little bit. I, I apologize. I apologize. I already apologize, right? All things came from God. Am I right? Yes. So God can lie? Huh. Isn't it your Bible says even God himself sent a lying spirit from his throne and orchestrated the Israelites to go and be killed and the king to be killed because the Lord lied to the king. Thus says the Lord. Go. You win. It's in your Bible, right? Yeah. Am I adding or subtracting? No. Go. You win. When he went rejoicing, the Lord has spoken. He died. For the prophets came in his, uh, Kings 22 verse 22. I saw in this manner there was a meeting in heaven. And this said this and this said this. And the Lord says No. Let this spirit go and lie before God. It was not a demon. The Bible says it was a spirit. And the Bible says the angels are ministering spirit. Hallelujah. Okay, I'm learning English. What is to lie? Huh? To say things that are not true. Are you a millionaire? Yes. yes. It's what we call it faith. Faith is to lie, my brother. God said to Abraham, speak things that are not as though they what is that? You don't have to wait until Sarah is pregnant. Speak things that are not. As though they are. So when Abraham says, ah, no, it's not my wife, it's my sister. He was in his assignment. That's why God never came and said, young man, but I covered you, but you were lying. Nah. Let me skip that. That's not what I want to talk about. So if all things are from God, is sex from God? Yes. 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 So are there sexual activities in heaven? Isn't it the Bible, your Bible says in, Roman, uh, in, 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 in Revelation 12, the woman was pregnant in heaven and she gave birth and the child was taken to the throne of God. Is it your Bible or mine? So now I'm getting where I want to talk about. Does God practice sex? Remember here, I talk what you don't hear in your church, right? Does God practice sex? Yes. 
Does God have private parts? Yes. If he has, what are they for? Yes. Oh, let's say he doesn't have. Stand up, both of you. God said, let us create man in our image. So if you want to see the image of God, where do you see? look? Adam and Eve. So when they came out in the image of God with the private parts, was God adding from his image or he was duplicating? So does God practice? How did Sarah become pregnant? Uh, your Bible, not mine. How did Sarah become pregnant? Sarai, forget about Mary. Read Genesis chapter number 20. Rom, uh, Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. La Combra Mandelid. I want to go somewhere, so I want you to bear with me. What does this say? Genesis chapter 18, verse 1. Hallelujah. Hey. Hallelujah. Hey. Genesis chapter 18. 18, verse 1. And the Lord appeared unto him in the plains. The of Lord appeared unto Abraham. Right? What is to appear? I'm appearing on Periscope in Zimbabwe, right? I'm appearing in uh, Brazil, right? I'm appearing in South Africa, right? Am I there? Am I there? I'm not there, right? I was live on Facebook yesterday. How many saw me yesterday? I thought you were in class. You were cheating. I appeared in Maryland, but I was in California. Right. Am I right? Yes. But today I visited Maryland. Yes. Right. So I'm physically here, right? right? Let's go to Genesis 22, verse 1 and 2. Lambros koto londo londo boko someday. Genesis 22, verse 1. Are we there? Yes. Genesis 22, verse 1. And it came to pass after these things that God did tempt Abraham. No. And it's Genesis 22. Huh? I'm growing old now. Genesis 20. Let's go to Genesis 20. 21. From verse 1. Genesis 21, verse 1. And the Lord visited Sarah. The Lord appeared to Sarah? The Lord did, did appear to Abraham. But he visited Sarah. Which means he came in person to Sarah. But he appeared to Abraham. Why is he coming himself to Sarah? Continue. As he had said, the Lord did unto Sarah. And the Lord did unto Sarah. And when he did? As he had spoken. Uh -huh. For Sarah conceived and bare Abraham God a did son. unto Sarah. And Sarah conceived and gave better child for Abraham. Ah, uh, you are not here. I think your mind is too from the old church. I'm reading your Bible. I'm not adding anything. Did I revelate? No. We are reading your Bible. Read again verse 1 and 2. And the Lord visited Sarah. God visited. He did not appear. He visited. Uh -huh. As he had said, and the Lord did unto Sarah. And God did unto Sarah. Uh -huh. As he had spoken. Uh -huh. And Sarah conceived. And Sarah conceived. The whole Bible, it says, and Abraham knew Haggai, and Haggai conceived. Mm. Check anywhere the Bible says Abraham knew Sarah. Hmm. No. God did unto Sarah. And she conceived. 
Matthew chapter 1 verse number 18. La costa bra. Man toko boye. Zanki dobra haski debra hati gada ha. Today is a good day. I'm preparing you for baptism. I think we should close. It's too much now. Matthew chapter 1. I want the one that says uh, the power of the Holy Spirit shall come upon thee. And Sarah was found. 18 says what? Now the birth of Jesus Christ was of this manner. Yeah, from 18. Read it. Now the birth of Jesus Christ was on this wise. When as his mother Mary was espoused to Joseph before they came together, she was found with child of the Holy Ghost. She was found with the child of who? Holy Ghost. He did it. <laughs> he did it. <laughs> Let's check another vision. This one is lying. Give us another vision. Do you have a different one? Do you have a different one? Different vision. Yes. This is how the birth of Jesus, the Messiah, came about. His mother, Mary, was pledged to be married to Joseph. But before they came together, she was found to be pregnant through the Holy Spirit. She was pregnant through whom? The Holy Spirit. Genesis chapter 6. When the angels came, what did they do? They pregnanted the daughters of men that were beautiful. And those daughters gave birth to giants. So does these guys practice or no? Lazifra Nasate. Angels came not in their will. Angels came because they don't have a will. The one who is the person now of God, the person of God, the Holy Spirit, chose for them to come. The one who knows the activity made them apply the activity on earth. I think let me move another direction. I'm, I'm losing everybody. Take a seat. Take a seat. I'm, I'm, I'm losing everybody. Angels are controlled by the Holy Spirit. They don't have a will. They don't have a soul. They don't choose. They are directed by the Holy Spirit. The only way to connect with the angel is having the Holy Spirit. You need to grow in the Holy Spirit. You need to be close to the Holy Spirit. You need to shave him at all times. Pray every day. Give your daily offering every day. Listen to these prayers that we make here every day. Why? When you give your offering, you are feeding your soul. When you pray, you are feeding your soul. When you worship, you feed your soul. Ah, let me kill it, then we'll close. Do you know in every church there is food for your spirit? You know that, right? But do you know that not all food is what you need? What is in food? Nutrients? Vitamins? Viagra? Protein? Proto, right? Are we, are we here? But you know when you eat it, when you eat food, all the proto, the vitamins, the white, what, will be sent somewhere in your body. When you go to the bathroom, your waste comes out without vitamins. Am I right? Am I right? I want you to hear this because you need to stop going to some churches. God then says to Jeremiah, prophet, take human waste and bake a cake. Make a cake. And he says, no. 
Then he says, now take the waist of a cow. And he begged, and he begged it. And the Lord says, eat. And he ate. Not every food you are eating has your vitamins. Not every food you are eating has your protein. Not every food you are eating has proto. There is a spiritual food that you are eating that is nothing to you. It's nothing to you. It's not even junk food. It's waste food. That's why God says to Jeremiah, when Jeremiah finished eating, the Lord says, this is what Israel is doing. It's now eating wrong food. You're not hearing what the Bible is saying. They are people that are eating wrong food. What you are eating is doing nothing to your assignment. It's doing nothing to your calling. It's not even building you. It's not challenging you. It's not enough for your spirit. It's not making you to grow. I pray for you today. I wish to continue, but my body is, is dead now. I need to nap there in the office. But my prayer for you is, you should know these levels. Amen. You will control angels Amen. by the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. You will tap in the realms of the Spirit Amen. with the knowledge you have received. Amen. Remember, the Holy Spirit does not make you spiritual. Yes. Knowledge makes you spiritual. And this knowledge we are giving you will strengthen the inner man. Yes. It is my prayer for you that you may grow and that you may be another person. In Jesus' name, amen. I want only three questions so that if there are people that are confused by anything I taught now, I can clarify it for you. Baha. One, two. Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you, sir, for the teaching. Um, I, the question I have has to do with Romans chapter 4, where God said that um, God strength that Abraham's body was dead. But, um, sorry, I'm trying to, let me get the Romans 4, 17. Okay, he said... And being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body that was dead when he was about a hundred years old, neither the deadness of Sarah's womb, for he staggered not at the promise of God through unbelief. He was strong in faith and giving glory to God. Now, I thought, I'd, I'd always thought that what that meant was that God, even though his body was dead, God strengthened his body and he was able to be able to pregnant his wife. Okay, let, let, let me help you a little bit. Okay, sir. Oh, stand up. Touch your body. That's not your body. That's your flesh. Touch your body. <laughs> because the body of Abraham was dead. Am I right? Where does the Holy Spirit live in you? This is, my body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Your body is the temple of the Holy Spirit. Yeah. Which one now is your body? Does it live in your flesh or in your body? It's in my soul. Your soul is the body. Yes. Right? Yeah. My soul is the body the Bible is, this, is talking about. Exactly. Okay. So when the Bible is saying last of the flesh, it's not talking about the last of the body. Because there's a difference between the body and the flesh. So it's not the flesh of Abraham that was dead. The Bible is talking about his mind, the soul. But even though it was no longer sexually active, he did not stagger in faith in his soul. He believed against hope and hoped against hope. 
So the promise of God can come to pass. That's why the Bible is now saying God came as he had promised and he did to Sarai as he had promised. So Abraham yobbed in the sense that he never fainted in that promise. So for that promise to be fulfilled, the Holy Spirit, which is the Spirit of God in the Old Testament, came and did according to that promise and Sarah became pregnant. I don't know if I'm clear to you. <laughs> um, yes. Papa, that was I, a good question because everybody will be like, oh, thank you for that. Papa, I saw your video two weeks ago on the revelation of Adam, and you had said that um, the original intent for God was to not um, uh, recreate through sex, but through the word. You say the word, and then out comes a body. But you just mm -hmm. said that we are duplicates of God. Um, we have private parts because God does. So is the per what is the purpose for having private parts if the original intent okay. was to just speak the word. I taught in my group, thank you. I taught in my group a long time ago. I don't know if everyone was still there. And I said the original plot was that Adam may give birth in three ways. Number one, through his mouth, which is let there be light and light will appear. Right? Number two, you are supposed to give birth spiritually. Number three now, this one is scary. <laughs> You're starting something big here. Adam was supposed to give birth through his private part. <laughs> I want you to go on Google right now and, and Google how male hyenas give birth. The male, not female, male hyena. Male hyena gives birth through what? Ah, Google. Ah, these days it's easy and faster. La sufrasi, safli sari. You can even go on YouTube and see it visually, giving birth. How does it give birth according to your Google or YouTube? They gave birth through their private part. That was the original intent of God. That men will give birth. That's why Eve came out from Adam. Uh, uh, oh, your Google is slow. Can I Google myself? Okay, you can just say, does male hyena give birth? Or a video of a male hyena giving birth. They gave birth through their private part. You hear it, right? This one. Read it in English, since you are English. <laughs> I'm from Africa, so it's difficult. This one. Hyenas give birth through a pseudo penis. I don't know if it makes sense then. So, Adam was supposed to give birth in those realms. Let's skip that one. I'm just, uh, another one is there. A false penis. When they say pseudo, meaning is not exactly what it is, meaning is a false penis. Try to watch the video there. You will see it. That was the first three dimensions. That was the first three dimensions which I believe Adam was supposed to give birth through. Right? Number two, Adam would operate in that realm of speaking things and they will exist, which is creation part. I don't know if you're here. But Adam and Eve together we had an assignment from God. Be fruitful and multiply. I don't know if you understand. So Adam without Eve, he had the ability of multiplication. But them coming together now, Eve has a command of giving birth, 
which the Bible now says when they were coming out of the garden, I am now increasing pain in giving birth because pain was already there in the garden. They already gave birth in the garden. Cain and Abel is not the first kids that they had. <laughs> the Bible is simple. It's saying, from today, woman, because of what you did, I will increase what? In what? Can you, in, can I say, I want you to come and work for me. From today, I'm increasing your pay. The pay must be there for me to say I'm now increasing. So they were already giving birth. Because their assignment was to be fruitful and multiply and fill the earth. So while it's there in God, then they give birth and they fill the earth. That's why when they went to the earth realm, Cain already went to a city where people were alive. Where were those people coming from? Cain went and married. Who was he marrying? They already had children before. Simple. One last. I need to go and sleep because I don't wanna. I don't wanna. I don't wanna disappoint you. Is this time correct? All right. So he's saying three hours. Uh, three. Twenty-four past three. Uh, I need to nap so that I will do prophetic baptism very well here. Yes. All right, Papa, can you go deeper? You're saying angels don't have a will because the Holy Spirit has the soul and it chooses for them. Uh, I used to think angels have soul. I used to think that. Because I was saying, how did they make a decision to live? Angels are ministering spirits. But Adam is a living soul. And God breathed upon the breath of man and the man became a living soul. soul. But the angels are ministering spirits. I don't know if we understand. So because the angels, they don't have a soul. They are angels that save God. Those angels are influenced by God's thoughts. Do I make sense? Then there are angels that save other angels. Those angels are affected by angels that they follow. Revelation chapter 12. And the angel Michael and his angels fought against the dragon. And the dragon and his angels fought back. So Lucifer was an angel that saved God. But Lucifer had the angels that were saving him. So when he rebelled, all the angels were affected. I don't know if you understand. So God influences a decision, makes a decision for angels, and those angels' decision will be automatically decision of other angels. I don't know if I make sense to somebody. So anything that an angel is doing is coming from God. Am I right? So for me to know how to communicate and command my angel, I must access God and know the will and the plan of God because anything outside my assignment or the plan of God, angels cannot follow. I don't know if I make sense to somebody. Yeah. Did I answer you? Yes, well? thank you, Papa. Thank, thank you. you. I need to sleep. Can I continue? Maybe we do prophetic baptism tomorrow. No. We are still here tomorrow, right? So I sleep. God bless you. Uh, hallelujah. Uh, we have one announcement here.